All right, this is New Hampshire Track and Field.com, powered by Runner's Alley, coming at you from somewhere in New Hampshire as we continue celebrating our seniors of 2020 as we come to obviously the end of the academic year. We are continuing to celebrate um, all of our seniors. I believe we posted number 27 today, which marked we're over 50 seniors that we've, we've celebrated in. Sam McCarthy from Pembroke is the latest. Sam, you're doing solo Sam today. How's it going? Good, good. So tell us now, you know, we're, we're obviously in the thick of everything and as businesses begin to open up, schools remain closed. How are, are you doing with the COVID-19 related situations like remote learning, training in isolation, especially as like a jab thrower, I'm wondering how that's going. Um, everything's pretty good over here. Um, I'm able to, uh, I do a, a little kickboxing video every morning and then my yard is luckily big enough so I can throw my own jab here if I want. And I do that sometimes. Um, with school, I get all my assignments on Mondays and I schedule everything out for the week and then just kind of work through it as best I can. Um, also, we just got a new puppy, so he <laughs> keeps us very, very busy. <laughs> I hear that a lot of people are looking into getting new puppies because they have the time to spend with them, obviously, you know, so. Yeah. yeah. How did you get your start in track and field? Um, so my freshman year, I joined the basketball team and for the winter. And um, the coach was actually the uh, spring coat, the spring track coach. And he uh, said, you're not doing anything in the spring. Why don't you come and throw for me? And I was like, all right, sounds good. So, um, yeah, I joined the spring track team. And then that next winter, my sophomore year, I um, joined the basketball team again. And he was the coach for both indoor track and outdoor track, I mean, and basketball. And so I kind of did both and I just kind of followed him where he went. My friend actually did this with me. And then I decided after uh, sophomore year, I would just do track all the time. Wow. And that's like, that's the moniker of the Pembroke program. It seems to be up and coming in the state. I was really interested to see how things would go this year. We'll obviously have to wait till next year, but that's, that's a sign of a great coach bringing out the kids that are interested. So I know Javelin obviously, you know, is one of your favorites. Do you have another favorite track and field event? Um, I mean, <laughs> I like discus and shot put uh, probably pretty equally, but Jav is obviously my favorite. Now, are you, are you thinking about doing that in college, or what are you thinking about with college? Um, I haven't really thought about doing track in college. Um, I don't know. I think I'm just going to keep practicing a little bit if, for fun on the side, but I don't think I'm going to pursue it. Okay. All right. Well, let's think, let's think back then rather than thinking forward. What has been your favorite competition memory? With, with um, the Mav, I'm sure it is, but just what's been your favorite competition memory? Well, I mean, obviously when I got my PR for Jav was amazing because um, I could see my coach on the side just like throwing his hands up in the air and jumping up and down. He was so happy. And then, I mean, just hanging out with my teammates, like um, when we're not competing, like under the tent or like playing Frisbee and stuff like that during uh, our off, off times in the meets is really fun. It's a good uh, bonding time. Awesome. Awesome. Well, if you could do any other track track and field event, what would it be? You can't choose one of the throwing events. Um, Did that mess you up a little bit? Sorry. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> um, I would probably just do the 100 because, um, I mean, I've done it a couple times and I really enjoy it and it really like gets your heart rate up. It's, it's pretty fun. Cool. What about your favorite workout? What's your, what's, describe your favorite workout. Um, I mean, like at home or at school? Let's do at school and then let me hear about at home. Okay. Um, at school, I mean, I really just enjoy practicing any of the throwing events. Um, we don't really do as many scheduled workouts. Sometimes we go in the weight room and just do like little circuits here and there. But my favorite thing is just going out and throwing as much as I can. So what about at home? Do you just do the same thing or are you a little limited because of space? Um, at home, I actually have this fun kickboxing video that I do, and um, I don't know, I just, I've really gotten into it, 
the past few weeks. And then obviously I just throw my jab a little bit in the yard. Good, good. Well, you've kind of talked a lot about your coach and, and, and we've kind of gleaned from that how he motivates you, but we speak to that a little bit. And then also what's motivated you within yourself to try to achieve your potential as a thrower? All right, um, so my coach, he definitely motivates all of us using food. He's always um, saying, <laughs> if you throw five feet further, if you throw a hundred feet this time and jab, you'll get a pizza. And I was like, all right, <laughs> I'll try it out. <laughs> so- um, Has he followed yes. through? Does he follow yeah. through? It does work, yeah. And he does follow through. Um, some of my uh, friends have actually um, gotten really, really large PRs and he took the entire throwing squad out to pizza. It was really fun. Um, and then, I mean, myself, what motivates me is probably competing against other people that are better than me, especially my teammates, just like a little friendly competition is good for me. So you just dig the competition. You're enjoying that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of what sports are about. It's a nice, friendly competition. It's cool. It's great. So is that your favorite thing about track and field? You've alluded to kind of the camaraderie with track and field, but what's your favorite thing that you're going to look back on with track and field in New Hampshire? Um, I think definitely how close my uh, teammates and my coaches and everybody is when we're uh, practicing and competing during track. Uh, it really almost becomes like a second family type of thing. Cool. All right. Here's some lightning round questions for you. Some quick hitters. And then we'll end with your final shout outs and, and thank you. Does that sound good? Okay. Favorite track and field facility or actually favorite field facility? Um, I like having meets at, uh, at home because you don't have to travel. <laughs> All right. What about your favorite pre-meat meal? Um, any type of pasta. If you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go? Um, honestly, probably like California. I've always wanted to visit the San Diego Zoo. So. <laughs> nice, nice. I want to see the Pacific Ocean. Believe it or not, I've never seen it in person. What about uh, favorite pre-race song? Um, anything that's like really energizing and fun to dance to, really. You want to give us an example of that? or? Um, <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Do I want to demonstrate? What would you do if you knew you could not fail? Um, and don't say win the lottery. That's that's you, you don't allow that. Um, I mean, for track, I would try doing the pole vault, and in general, I would probably like perform something on stage. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Interesting. Interesting. What about your best advice or quote ever given to you? Um, probably to just focus on the present and uh, what you can control and don't worry about what you can't control. Which is really hard for teenagers, right? Right. All right. No, that's great. That's what, that was the best advice ever given to me at your age. All right. Here it is, Sam, your final moments to be able to give your shout outs, give your thanks to the, all those that supported you along the way. I bet you I can guess one. <laughs> Which one do you think? Your coach. Yes, definitely. I'm going to be giving them a lot of credit, so go, but go ahead. I don't want to steal your thunder. All right. Um, so, yeah, Mike Filato and Brad Keys, you guys are amazing. Best coaches I've ever had, especially Mike. Um, I mean, my parents, for all the support they've given me and coming to all my meets and always pushing me to be the best that I can be. And then my best friend, Kaylee Kucher, who has – been on the track team with me for all four years played basketball with me she was there when with everything and we've always been together awesome awesome sam that must feel good to be able to do that so <laughs> hey obviously we're very sorry about the covid19 situation but at least we are able to give the thanks like you wanted to and we get to highlight so many great kids of new hampshire so good luck in the future and always remember College teams are not the only way to, to compete in track and field when you're older than high school, by the way. Look up the USATF and all those opportunities and the club opportunities. All right. Thanks. All right. Well, good luck. And this has been NewHampshireTrackAndField.com, powered by Runner's Alley, coming at you with yet another salute to our phenomenal seniors of New Hampshire Track and Field. Till next time.